What's going on everybody? It's Monkey Farm and we are back for another create mod tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build a bunch of huge doors and gates that automatically open and close and all of that. Um, I am here in my uh, single player world that I live stream from on Twitch and uh, we built this really awesome huge front gate. Obviously my house is still under construction. But uh, when we push the button, it opens up 90 degrees, it waits for a while, then it closes, and then I've had it programmed on the other side to actually open up outwards so you don't, you know, bash your head into the wall as uh, it's opening towards you. So I preferred to have it open outwards. You, you don't have to do it that way, but I did, and uh, I think it's pretty cool. So I'm going to show you how to build that and also a sliding door, like a sliding double door instead of uh, an opening gate like this door thing gate i don't know whatever anyway i'm going to show you how to build both and uh, they're not very difficult and they're super cool so let's go all right we're here in a flat test world i also turned off my resource pack so you could make sure you know uh what the what the actual blocks look like and everything um so i'm going to build up a couple blocks into the sky here just so we can um build underneath it because you're going to want to build a floor of some sort to walk on. You don't want to have uh, your little spinning shafts and everything visible, right? Um, so this is a mechanical bearing. It needs to be pointed upwards. You can tell by this little yellow button on the top. It's not really a button, but I don't know what it is, it, but make sure it's pointed towards the top. Then we need to take some linear chassis and make sure that you point the, the actual connecting part, um, in the right direction. In other words, you don't want to point it. Uh, you don't want to point it this way, or well, any other way, because uh, you need to connect your blocks to it, uh, and they won't they won't turn if they're connected to this side right here. Um, and the ones on the inside of your walkway or your doorway, you need to make sticky like that. And by the way, so you can the width of this you can make. You can make your doors or gates 16 blocks total in between these. So um, if you look with a wrench on these chassis, you can go out eight blocks. So they will pull eight blocks. So eight plus eight, obviously, is 16. So you can have a pretty darn huge door. And the height of this, you can go, I don't know, like way up here if you want. Um, actually, you can go way farther than that. And I think I will. So let's do that just for fun. Um, so I'm going to make all these sticky. Now, uh, this is the same type of thing I used for my mob spawner to basically sweep all the mobs off of the pads. Uh, so as you, as you know, I had four floors all connected in like a snake shape of these chassis and they're all connected to the same thing. So my guess is you can probably build like a door all the way up to the top of the sky. It might lag out your game a little bit. I'm not sure. I haven't tried that big of a door or anything, but um, anyway, uh, go ahead and try it. it should be fun. So uh, then underneath that mechanical bearing, we need to put a, uh, a gearbox and it needs to be the up down gearbox, not the side to side gearbox because we need the little spinny thing pointed up into that mechanical bearing um, and then just connect it, uh, connect it to the other side that you're going to build the same thing, just mirrored, pointed towards this direction, right? So let's just make our door very narrow, but very tall. Um, how many blocks is this? One, two, three, four. So each each door is going to be two blocks, uh, two blocks deep, right? I guess. Yeah, let's do that. So another, uh, another gearbox pointed up and then the mechanical bearing on top of that. We're going to put our chassis. I don't know how many this is, but it's quite a few. There we go. And of course, make the inside sticky again. And of course, don't forget, you need to set your chassis to a distance. Otherwise, they're going to fight each other over grabbing all the blocks and uh, bad things will happen. I think uh, either that or it just won't work. I don't know. But anyway, let's set all these to two. All right, we have all these sets to two now and we need to put some blocks in our door. By the way, you can actually stagger this. It doesn't have to be a completely rectangular or square door. Uh, for example, we could set this chassis to move 
three or four and this one to three or four and this one zero. So you could have like a, uh, a, a saw tooth or a tooth kind of design um like every other block would turn on this chassis and every other block would turn on that chassis anyway what i'm saying is it doesn't have to be a rectangle you can set different distances um you can also make a rounded or shaped top of your door uh, but to do that you would need to build the bottom with whoops with chassis pointed let's see how do we do this pointed up and connected, and then that would only be able to go eight blocks. So if you wanted to build something taller on this door, taller than eight blocks, you'd have to put another chassis pointed up. Well, let's see. It's, it's hard to get this thing to, there we go. So you'd have to add chassis here. In other words, you'd have to tell this chassis to grab eight and you would have blocks up here. So this would be connected to this. So all of these would in turn swing open with the door as well. So you don't have to have what I'm getting at. Basically, you don't have to have a boring square door if you don't want to. But that's what we want to do because this is a tutorial and you guys can mess around and try out new things however you want. All right. Let's see. All right, we've got our door. Now we need to uh, program it and power it. So of course we need the sequence gear shift. These things are awesome. They're so useful. And uh, for this case, we're just gonna throw a motor on it. This is only available in creative mode. Uh, so in like survival mode, you would want to hook this up to your windmill or your water wheel or the, the powered fan, you know, with the fire underneath it. Like I built the, uh, the wheat farm, the bread, the bread machine over there that I did in my last video. Uh, check that out, by the way, if you haven't seen it, it was pretty cool. Um, yeah, so let's program this thing. Let's go. We want the piston or we want this to turn 90 degrees and then we want it to wait, say, I don't know, three seconds should be good. And then we want to turn back the other direction, 90 degrees, and then we want it to end. Um, I may have to switch the arrows, I think sometimes it's like backwards. So I'm going to start with it backwards and then, well, we'll switch it if it's wrong, but I think that should be working. So, yep. Uh, it's actually swinging open. So it's going to wait three seconds and go that way. So if we want it to swing open the other way, we'll turn the arrows that way and bam, it's going that direction. Now, if you want to do like I did in my survival world and have the doors swing outwards, like as you're walking in and then swing that direction on the way out, all you have to do is kind of just mirror that over here. You have to add another sequence gear shift and then you have to, you're going to have to power it up. So either connect it with, uh, put a gearbox in here and, and put shafts all the way over here. Uh, you could do that or actually, yes, you could do that. Um, as long as, as long as it's not being controlled by the sequence gear shifter, you don't, you don't want it to try to control both. Um, you'd have to, you'd have to make sure you get around that somehow. Um, but anyway, for this case, we're just going to, uh, do the same thing over here. We're going to turn 90 degrees. We're not even going to wait. We're just going to go back the other direction and, uh, let's test it out this way. Uh, wrong direction, right? So let's switch the arrows. All right. So if we power it from this side, it's going to swing open away from us. If we power it from this side, it's going to swing open away from us that way. Pretty cool. So we never have to bump our heads on the wall. And of course, uh, you can change the speed by going double arrows. You can also change the speed by how fast your, your force uh, your spinning force is, is, you know, created by your windmill or your whatever you're, you're powering this thing with. Um, so that is the swinging door. Let's do the sliding door real quick. And that is casting a shadow. So let's either change the time or break this thing down. All right. So this one is very similar. The difference is we are using pistons. 
as you can see. So we need another vertical gearbox. And this one, uh, we need to make sure that we are leaving a space because we need a floor. Uh, this one, obviously the bearings leave a space to build a floor so you can build a floor there. You don't have to do anything special. This one, we have to add a, we have to add a shaft, excuse me. We have to add a shaft, uh, in between the gearbox and the, uh, the, uh, piston. So let's go ahead and grab the piston right here. Of course, it's a sticky one again, and we need the piston poles behind it. So we're going to need, uh, let's just do three. We'll do a six block wide door. Uh, wait, don't put your blocks there yet. We need the chassis again. So we've got one, two, three, and, uh, we'll just, we'll just go like five blocks and we need to make them sticky. Of course, again, And um, for this case, you don't have to have double door sliding. Um, obviously, you could just have one door slide one direction. You don't have to split it in half. Uh, but I'll show you how to, to build that. I mean, it's not much more difficult either way. So not a big deal at all. But um, let's, do, let's do three blocks, I guess. And of course, set your chassis to three blocks again. All right, now we need to build the shafts uh, to connect to the other part of uh, the other side of the sliding door. Um, so we're going to go out first. We're going to go out four blocks, which is um, how far this door goes out. But if you think about it, we have to add, depending on how far you want it to to push out. I want to push it out and not have the chassis visible. So I'm going to only add three blocks here. So one, two, three. So in other words, if this were a complete door and we weren't doing the other side, our wall would be here and our door would end here. We would have, we would have other blocks. Let's say, let's say this is the, uh, the wall, something like that. If we wanted to push this out three blocks, Hang on a sec. There we go. So let's say that's our doorway, right? It's a nice, pretty doorway. These are dirt blocks, whatever. <laughs> it's a hallway of some sort. Um, if we wanted to uh, power this, we can go piston, go out three meters that direction. Hopefully it's going the correct direction. Let's see. Uh, wrong direction. Oh, it's not powered actually. Hold on. There we go. Okay, let's point it this way. That direction. Okay, so let's say we just wanted a single door. We would want it to be closed, right? So now we want it to open three meters. We want it to wait, let's say three seconds again, and then we want the piston to return three meters the other direction. All right, so this is what's going to happen here. We're going to push our secret button wherever we hide it. It's going to slide open. It's going to wait a few seconds. Then it's going to slide back closed. And of course, we can speed that up uh, same way if you speed up your your power generation or if you double arrow the uh, sequence gear shift, it'll go faster. So I'll show you that in action. See, it's a little bit faster. I think I like that. Uh, but we are going to build a double door, so let's go ahead and just get rid of these blocks real quick. Alright, so we need to add some more shafts to this thing to make it the correct distance, right? So we've got three more blocks where we want visible for the door, and then one, two, three, four, because we have a three block piston and chassis, right? So basically just add up all of the distance of where the blocks end of, of the piston being open completely, your chassis and however many blocks the door is, right? Um, so that's how far you need to kind of build this thing out. So I already built the sequence gear shifter, so I just need to build, you know, the gearbox, the shaft, 
Um, why don't I just rebuild this whole thing for you real quick? Um, we need the piston and we need the chassis. We need the piston pulls. I guess I'm going quick enough. I don't have to pause the video or anything. Um, let's get some daylight and we need to put some more chassis, make them sticky. I think, uh, oh, we did a three block door. Let's get them sticky. Okay, um, we're gonna have to fix this door, by the way, because uh, this one is open and that one is not, so I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, I think we're done there. So what I need to do is just break the shaft temporarily, right? And we are going to move our piston out three blocks. Nope. Wrong direction. Okay. And by the way, I didn't, I didn't fix my pistons yet. So, or I mean my chassis. So let's lower those to three. Cause otherwise when it moves back, it will steal my, it might steal the whole door, all these blocks. I'm not sure. Um, okay. So now we can reattach the shaft to the first door that we, created because both of our doors are closed. Um, we want to switch the direction here. We want to say wait uh, three seconds. Then we want to turn the piston back three blocks the other direction, double speed. And let's see if it works. All right, both doors are opening. It's going to wait a few seconds for me to walk through. Then it's going to close and bam, we did it. We're amazing. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoy these tutorials. I'm having a great time with this create mod. Super fun. Lots of cool stuff to build. Uh, still have a lot more things I want to show you guys. Um, so make sure you're subscribed and uh, like the video if you did enjoy it. And also don't forget to check out my twitch.tv slash monkey farm. I'm live streaming this over in the survival world that I showed you in the beginning of the video. So that's it. We'll see you later.